Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to take a break from our restoration project and do something a little bit different and uh, hopefully have some fun and uh, possibly uh, help out with you guys that are looking to get into a new car, or a new truck, uh, some kind of new vehicle, or even a slightly used vehicle. Uh, this video is going to really be helpful uh, depending on the takeaway of this video. So uh, in this video today, we're going to travel out of state. We're going to buy a new truck uh, from private, private sale. Be sure that you watch all the content of this video to the very end because there's things about buying out of state that will be different from state to state that will affect you, whether you can do it, can't do it, and whether some of these tactics uh, can apply and use to your benefit. Uh, if we're successful here and the truck looks good, uh, even though I just bought it sight and seen, uh, we can literally save tens of thousands of dollars on a new, new car sale and bypass all the disastrous car business going on right now. So 2022 is just an absolute train wreck for trying to buy a new car, a new truck, anything in the US. And you know, some of this is, uh, is global. Uh, supply chain issues, uh, manufacturing issues, uh, they're just not getting these things out. They're not able to stock inventory. And so the wait time on these is, is really, really long. The seller that I'm buying from uh, ordered this truck back in March of 2022. It's now November or early November of 2022. It's important to know because as this video ages, you'll want to uh, consider that as things change. Um, the truck is literally three weeks old. It has 382 miles on it. Uh, he took delivery of it, registered it, and had to sell it. So that's where we come in. Um, if we're successful here, this is really going to be a good thing for us. If we're not successful here, this could really backfire. So let's see how this works out. Let's go get that truck. Uh, go through the video, take a look at the truck when it's all shined up, get back here, and uh, then we'll go over some of the, uh, the legal, what you can do, what you can't do to make this work for you. So let's go get us a truck. So here we are in Dallas, Texas, picking up the Ram TRX in the rain. What a beast. Okay. Okay, rainy day here in Texas, getting ready to load up the TRX. Got our driver here, all staged and ready to go. Imagine driving this cross country in and out of gas stations, in and out of residential neighborhoods. Pretty awesome. see this back at home. Hopefully in one piece. Okay guys, here it is. Let me go help the driver. Hey, good morning. How are you? Looking good.
Okay, let me look this over with the driver. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so there it is, the mighty Ram TRX. So I'm going to detail this thing out. Uh, we'll take a quick look at it after I get it all cleaned up. A little bit grubby from its journey. And then I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on buying a car out of state, private sale, in this disastrous car market. Okay, guys, so we got through a quickie detail here. We just want to have a quick look at this and see what we got for our efforts and our patience. So basically we have uh, a new 2022 Ram TRX. Um, we're not going to talk about all the features on this car and all of what it's about. There's plenty of content on YouTube regarding this vehicle. Um, it's basically your Hellcat version of a super truck. And this guy is loaded to the gills. So this particular truck is equipped with virtually everything except for a couple of options I didn't want even if I was gonna order this truck. Uh, one of the options that comes with this truck that we didn't get here in our out-of-state purchase was the Ram Bar. I didn't want that. Um, it did come with a Mopar uh, from the factory tunnel cover. I did want that. Um, we do have spray and bed liner which is something I, I definitely wanted. And we'll be installing a bed rug in there. I use that for work and that works out really nice. Also, we've got the uh, the bed kit with the lighting and rails in there. That was an option. Uh, another option these trucks came with that we don't have and I didn't want was the uh, bed mounted spare tire. However, with the uh, tire package we got, let's take a look at this. We do have the actual performance wheel on there so they didn't skimp anything there we actually got all five wheels that look just like this one and equipped with your TRX badging and also the Mopar graphics I'll probably do something uh, with some kind of an inlay in that later just to make that pop a little bit more it's a little bit subtle for me I'll probably take something from the wheel color here and just add as an insert just to bring that up and then i'll stop there i won't do any modifications to this truck at all uh, we have the side steps here and then of course the uh 6.2 liter supercharged v8 let's take a look at that okay so there she is down in there 700 horsepower of mopar muscle and as we can see, it's virtually everything in here is brand new. And then having a look at our interior in here. So this one is equipped with the red interior accents, leather interior, heated seats, front and rear, ventilated seats, front and rear. Uh, we also have the carbon fiber uh, trim package in here, carbon fiber accents. All our uh, glove boxes open areas are all flock lined and then our back seating area so these rear seats they fold up and recline and our uh, Carmen Harden stereo throughout all kinds of uh, fun little accents put in by the Ram team more carbon fiber trim and floor mats and then also our uh, Ram boxes on each side and then having a look at our driver's side here so we also have the uh, paddle shifters for performance driving on this truck. I've used those and man, are they cool. This thing definitely gets with the program. Unbelievable you can move this much weight as quickly as you can move it with that engine in here. And then we have uh, adjustable seats, uh, both sides, driver and passenger. And also for the uh, 22 model year, we have the uh, upgraded foot pedals. Okay, so you pop the hood of your car or truck. Uh, inside, you're gonna have a California emissions uh, control information tag. Uh, this particular truck, as you can see zoomed in here, this truck does not comply with California emissions regulations as a new truck. Okay, so it doesn't comply, so what does that mean? Um, basically, this truck was manufactured, or let's just say you have a car, uh, from overseas is brought into the U.S. Um, either is manufactured to be sold in California 
or it is not, it is uh, co compliable with the other 49 states. So California is really kind of the oddball state here that we have to consider. Okay, first thing we wanna look at here uh, to keep in mind is the California emissions paperwork. So I printed this out from the California DMV. Um, you can pause this and have a closer look. Uh, but depending on when you watch this video, it could be a year from now, two years from now, um, always go to your local DMV website and check the latest and most current laws regarding emissions and uh, sales tax um, conditions because they're changing everything now. Uh, some of these states are getting tighter and tighter with their emission controls. And uh, in Nevada here, um, currently we have our own uh, emission control program, but uh, by 2024 or 2025, they are going to try and adapt to California emissions regulations, which could be a problem if you're buying a car out of state. So for example, uh, let's say you buy a car um, out of state, it has less than 7,500 miles on it, and you wanna bring it into California. Um, it has a tag under the hood, not for sale in California. Um, what are you gonna do? Well, you can either try and get the vehicle to comply. It could be something on board, with uh, computer programming. Um, it could also be, you know, something as simple as a uh, accessory part on your engine or exhaust, uh, but you would have to get it up to date to comply and pass your vehicle emissions test. Um, also for California, if uh, you're 7,500 miles or over, they deem that as a used car. Uh, 7,500 miles and under uh, is deemed a new car. So if you're buying a car out of state that's fairly new, it's got two or 3,000 miles on it and has that sticker, you could have an issue bringing that in to California. Shouldn't be a problem here. Um, I've already got my VIN inspection on this. Uh, they didn't say anything. And uh, here we're given a grace period of four consecutive years for smog. So currently in the U.S., these particular states here do not have a vehicle sales tax. Um, so let's just say you live in Nevada, for example. Uh, and you buy a car from one of these states, theoretically, you would still be exempt from sales tax because of the, the laws in our state. And you could buy a vehicle from one of these states to one of these states um, and still be exempt from that. However, let's just say you, you uh, live in Arizona, their laws may be different. So even though the vehicle was sold without sales tax in uh, Alaska, for example, um, you bring it into Arizona, you could have uh, a sales tax situation there, even though in the state of Alaska, you don't have one. So always be sure to check your state and local sales tax laws just before you pull the trigger. So I would recommend just taking your car down if you, you have a trade or, or something you just need to get out of to make the new purchase happen. Um, take it down to CarMax and get an appraisal and at least you have a number. You're not gonna get any more out of a dealership right now anyways. It's gonna be low or below low book. Uh, CarMax will be below low book and also the dealer will also. But at least you have a solid number. You'll know where you stand. Worst case scenario, CarMax, they can have your car. Uh, best case scenario, you have a bottom number. Anything you sell on the private market, open market, you could probably get more for it than that. Um, the other thing is uh, get your money prepared. So whether you're paying cash for your vehicle or whether you need to get some financing to, uh, to buy a vehicle, um, work out whatever you need to work out long before you find your vehicle. You'll need to have some kind of a financial plan to be able to make sure that you can pull this off uh, should you decide to buy a vehicle. Um, also, uh, I had a friend a long time ago that was in the used car business and uh, I never forgot what he told me. He, he basically was saying that uh, the difference between a new car and a used car uh, is that a new car you can go pretty much anywhere buy the same thing off of any lot coast to coast it's the same thing but a used car is always one of a kind and and that's the case here with our truck example today so i've been waiting for a truck like this to come online that would fit my uh, requirements and my finance this was it uh, it's got 382 miles on it. Um, I'm pretty sure this won't be coming around again. So in that example, this truck really is just one of a kind. I mean, I can get another one, but it won't be like this one. It won't be equipped the same, it won't have the same mileage, and it won't have the same conditions. All right, another thing you'll need to do is uh, absolutely get a Carfax report 
on uh, the car, even if the mileage is really, really low. Let's say it's 50 miles or less. Um, things can happen. You know, cars can get uh, damaged falling off a of transport. They can get damaged uh, at the factory. Um, all this stuff will show up uh, in a Carfax report if there's any kind of incident, and they actually have guarantees and insurance against their report, so they can keep you safe there. So definitely get a Carfax, no matter how good that car looks. The other thing is once you feel good about everything, go ahead and make your deal, make your travel and freight arrangements. This little bit of work right here, I can guarantee it is far less work than going into a dealership and haggling and getting beat to death and being charged staggering amounts of money over MSRP. It's definitely worth the work. Um, it's a lot of fun to travel out of state and, and buy a car. Going to a dealership right now is honestly, it's not much fun at all. It, it's actually uh, very humiliating and disappointing. And then last here, um, so always go see your car in person no matter where that car is. Um, if it's a serious buy, you're a serious buyer and this is exactly what you want and, and it's a way out go see the car make sure it's exactly what you want and make sure the seller is who they pretend to be um, anything can happen once you travel out of state so don't take for granted it's a good car go ahead and have it shipped and dropped off at your house you can do that but you'd be taking one heck of a risk on your investments so always go see your car no matter what if it feels weird it feels funny uh, just get out of it don't don't do it you got to have good communication from start to finish if the communication breaks down or the seller starts sounding a little bit funny it's not working out just go ahead and, and get out of it it's better to get out early than to ride this thing through and uh, find out you got something weird to deal with later so with that kind of situation it makes something like buying a truck like this out of a dealership just, just impossible it's just ridiculous the markups the sales tax on the markups and then if you're financing you got finance charges on top of the markups the sales tax it's just catastrophic amounts of money that just doesn't need to happen but what's happening now in the market is a truck like this or a car uh, similar equipped um, literally you're gonna have to order it from a dealership to get a, a realistic price and it's going to take several months for this car to come in. But we're not talking about the guys who are ordering cars and trucks and trying to flip them and take advantage of the current market situation. We're talking about good, honest people who ordered a vehicle six, seven months ago. Conditions have changed. Something in their life has happened. This happens all the time. I have been watching eBay and AutoTrader.com literally four, five, six times a day for, for six months trying to find the right vehicle for me. Uh, this one came up i knew i had to have it so we jumped on it but during that process i've seen many cars come and go i mean just you know, incredible buys it's like wow i mean this guy this it has everything this car is loaded it has everything he just needs to get out from under it the price is right it goes on ebay in the morning by evening i go back to check it it's already gone so you have to be checking constantly to, to make sure that when a good car comes up you can uh, take advantage of the situation. Other than that, uh, I think we did very well here. If I am successful at the DMV, which is another disaster uh, currently right now, I'm on a 30-day waiting list uh, just to get in and register this vehicle and title it. So uh, that's another problem. But uh, if I'm successful at the DMV and the current laws are uh, in effect when I go to register this vehicle and we dodge all the bullets, I will have eliminated the uh, dealership MSRP markup, which on this truck would be twelve to fifteen thousand dollars. I will eliminate uh, sales tax because of our state law conditions. It's another ten thousand dollars to the piggy bank there, um, and then all the dealership nonsense when you go in there trying to buy something, they want to sell you a windshield warranty, they want to sell you a tire warranty, all this garbage and, and dock fees and all that. You can just get rid of all that. Uh, put a couple thousand dollars into transport and a uh, hotel and flight a lot of fun get your shop and kill a car okay guys i'd like to give out a special thanks to rrg trucking for uh, doing a phenomenal job getting our truck back here safely to us and also i want to thank the seller for this beautiful truck and uh, i really feel bad for his situation but it's gone to a good home and we'll take really good care of it and enjoy it for you well thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video